Elbow number three in Krav Maga. Rear elbow to a attacker in the back. Arras, 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 arras. Get the hell back. Arras, arras. Okay. Uh, obviously, we are in a situation where. Uh, they have been able to close the space, and I have access to my weapons up here, but for some reason, I, have, I cannot create the space to get away. Common uh, situation for that would be like a bear hug underneath the arms, like some kind of tackle where I'm trying to get away, uh, and perhaps I do, but if I can't, uh, or I need to create some damage or a distraction, then I throw these elbow number threes. Uh, so I'm using not the elbow bone itself, but the first couple of inches right behind there, the WWE portion, right here, to hit the soft, the, as soft a part of the face as I can. That could be the front, on the side, in the jaw. Uh, I can also um, uh, I can also turn this into a hammer fist if I need to, if I'm able to create a little bit of space, but I'm still throwing this rear type of strike. All right, so uh, anytime we're throwing a strike to the back, I do need to assess the situation, possibly. Uh, perhaps I know this is an attacker, this is a bad situation, but uh, for the sake of drilling, uh, we always include this brief, brief moment of assessment where I do my little Batman move, I bring this up here, I'm protecting my face from getting uh, uh, attacked from behind, uh, getting struck, and other side is gonna be here. So I'm bringing my elbow up, not completely in front here, although if I really could wind this up, perhaps I might choose to do so, but, but around here about the 45 degree. Notice that I'm getting my elbow up, uh, especially with me, I'm not really that tall, so, I never know if I'm gonna run into obstacles like their arm, their elbow, their forearm as I'm going back. So I wanna bring that elbow up nice and high and drive it over. And then if I'm too high, I perhaps I can go down and that's actually a good thing. Gives me a little bit of gravity work in there as well. So, uh, uh, so my response is, whoa, here, as I chamber that elbow out in front of me, protecting my face and I get ready to strike, Again, using the first couple of inches behind the actual elbow bone. Now, the, the, the issue here is if I just throw this straight back, that is not exactly where he is. He's slightly to the inside. So I'm going to have to shift my hips a little bit. Remember, the, uh, the threat that's going on here right now is that hands are gripped or for whatever reason I can't move uh, my lower body and create space and turn into the fight. So... I'm throwing, I'm throwing these, I do have access to this. So I can drive the shoulders or I can drive the hips slightly to the side, but it just basically opens up my target area so that I can throw this rear elbow, okay? So from here, I throw it and drive through the target. When I say drive through, I mean, I'm not trying to just kind of tap it. I'm trying to take this and just drive it all the way through his body. Uh, to do that, I have to use the ball of my foot and allow my hip to turn over. This looks very similar to like if I were throwing a hook here with my left arm, that's the same footwork, uh, foot movement and ball of the foot uh, position as it is when I'm throwing my right elbow number three. Boom, boom, and driving that thing through. Now, when I, uh, when I drill these, I'm always imagining that I can't create a whole lot of space here. So I'm not stepping out and throwing this elbow far back. Remember, this is a short range weapon, okay? So I have to be close enough to strike. All right, so I'm going to either move my shoulders, my hips slightly to the side and allow that rotation to drive up in here, the soft areas of the jaw, the face, the nose, all of that's good. All right. Now, perhaps, because the attacker is behind me, perhaps I threw this and I missed. Maybe they saw it coming. Uh, but the great thing about this one 
is it's very easy to transition to the other side. So if by chance you throw this nice and hard and you miss, immediately follow up with one on the other side. Now notice I'm just keeping my hand open because I want my arms to relax as much as possible and have as much uh, 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 range as they can. So I'm not tensing up. I'm actually relaxing my arms and then just tensing up the elbow right as I strike and driving through that target. Uh, okay, now the cousin to this elbow number three is the hammer fist. Ah! Why did I throw it? Simply the same reason that I throw a knee or a rising front kick. It's just about range, how close I was. Maybe as I was throwing this, I created a little more space than I thought. Maybe I'm throwing this as I go out, as I'm, I'm kind of getting some range here, uh, and I throw this, but I can tell I'm gonna miss or mitigate the power of the elbow, so I simply use the rest of the arm. Now this one, I will make a fist, and I'll be hitting with the meaty portion here, but I also don't care if any of the parts of the forearm hit. I'm okay with that. This is all good. This is all bone. This is WWE right here, okay? Ah! Okay, so I can uh, work this in varying degrees of range. Really close, yes. a little bit further out, yes. 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 okay? So, uh, again, I want these, these are short, explosive movements of the hip, shoulders, and the weapon. I do not want this to be just an arm. It's a little sewing machine action going back and forth here. That's not creating a lot of damage, okay? I need my whole body to rotate, rotate into this. Now, uh, the second cousin of this and the hammer fist is what we, recall, is what we refer to as a, a hammer fist, but yet with a C step. I'm literally taking my foot, which is in front of him, and I'm going around both to improve my position and also yes, give me some uh, force to drive this into his, into his face. A lot of times when people throw this hammer fist, they don't drive back into the target. They simply kind of rotate and do a big circle. And sometimes they can literally drive themselves away while they're throwing the strike. Not that that is so bad. That's kind of like a clearing strike. Like I'm getting away, get the hell away from me type of situation. But if I am looking to create damage, I want to be close. So I'm gonna, so as I throw this hammer fist, I'm literally gonna cut the corner around him. I'm here, my left foot in this particular case, maybe a small step, maybe not, but it's my right foot that kind of comes back, clears his legs, his feet, whatever, and then drives to the side. So from a simplicity standpoint, it's here, whoa, here. Huh? And my timing is to throw that strike as I advance right by him. Again, the idea here is that I improve my position. Hopefully I get outside of the elbows, but I have also created a lot of force as I drove that hammer fist in. Okay, so this is a good one to, uh, to drill all together because often in this situation, it might look with all the elbows. Ah, ah, this, 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 this. Okay, so uh, remember, when you, uh, when you drive the hammer fist in with the C-step, you will be going along their side. You will not be creating space away from them unless that is your goal. If you're just throwing it to clear and you don't actually care if it strikes, then this is fine. Okay. Uh, elbow number three. 